Hi guys, I am here at uh, 144, and uh, I'll tell you, there's a couple things that I really, really like. There's a couple things that I'm less impressed with, but this is obviously something I really, really like. I mean, it is a beautiful view here. Uh, we're pretty far north in Satellite Beach, so you'd have amazing views of the rocket launches over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, I, I think I can see a cruise ship way out in the distance. I'm not sure if you can see it way out there. Is that? That might be a cruise ship, or maybe. No, I'm putting some land over there. Nope. The cruise ship, I think, is, I see it's farther over there, but I can't see it on my phone. Uh, anyway, I mean, killer view. Absolutely amazing view huge deck and it wraps around even over here so now I'm looking the other direction I mean and it's a huge unit too that porch right there is for that little den area in there so I mean I, great space it's got the old, uh, it's got old roll down shutters. I don't think they work. I don't think some of the shutters work. These I think are great. This encloses that whole area, which covers up all that glass. That looks like, I can't figure what this is. I think this used to be a barn door system for storage back behind there, but I can't get it open and I'm not gonna start pulling on it to see it and let it fall on me or break something, so. I don't know, but, um, but I do love, love, love this huge porch area. This is unquestionably my favorite feature. And I love the floor to ceiling glass from inside. So you're inside and you feel like you're still outside. It is gorgeous. Love that. It is, um, I mean, it's cheap. It's not impact rated. It's, but it is double pane, these doors, they're double pane. And when I close the doors, I don't hear a lot of, uh, well, I don't hear the ocean is the only thing you'd be hearing. So it's kind of nice to hear. But the point is, the point is, uh, these are uh, decent double pane. Some of the windows in the other, in the front of the house are just the, the, the original single pane windows, but we'll get there, you know. Yeah, love it. That's another sliding glass door. So big floor to ceiling slider, floor to ceiling slider. The tile work in here is, looks like I did it, you know, missing some grout, bad cuts, you know, it just needs a trim piece. But you know me, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the ugly and the pretty, right? This is a very, very common place to have moisture intrusion just because there's a constant steady wet wind pushing on the building. So I wouldn't be at all surprised to find out that that's wet back there. And the repair is just, you know, keep it, keep a nice bead of caulk around everything. Huge unit, huge space inside. I love it. I do, I, I love so much about it. Um, I love it, but there's definitely some butts coming. Don't worry, cool bar. Big space, again, great space. Here's the owner's suite, oop. Where was that? Okay, I wasn't just tap dancing. Somewhere in there, there was a tile where the thin set isn't perfect and it sounded hollow when my shoe went dunk on it. Uh, not a big deal. But you know, it speaks to the quality of the tile work, which I already noted right there at the slider. All right, owner's suite. Nice built-ins. Apparently the lights aren't working. Lights are working in this one. Yeah, nice built, nice uh, closet system. That's pretty. It's nice. Old popcorn ceiling. It's low in here. 
but you can't really see in here, but you'll just have to trust me that I think it's okay in the photo, in the video. Uh, the ensuite bath. You got a little step in shower. I'm here for it. I like it. Bathtub. Oh, listen again. Let's see, I'll, let's see if you can hear it. Yeah, it's just the, the thin set. I mean, the, 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 the tile looks okay, but it was unprofessionally done. So, you know, it's all fixable. Um, yep. Older jetted tub. No notes. You know, what you see is what you get. Cute little storage solution. Updated recessed LED lights. Drop-in vanity. Oh, looks, this looks cute. This is good. This works. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the grout lines are a little funky in here, too. Again, totally fixable stuff, but I want you to be aware of it. Oh, and this is a good-sized room. That's just a little single bed, but this is a good-sized room. I guess the single bed is actually making the room look even bigger than it is. All right, onward. I like the quartz countertop. Kitchen's nicely redone. Fun uh, mood lighting up there. That's, that's cool. Big kitchen. Really big kitchen. It's a big unit. I mean, this is a, this is a big property. So you can really see how big that kitchen is. But, I mean, the, the, it's 2150 square feet. This is actually a little bit bigger than my four-bedroom, two-bath house. So it's a big unit. Um, let's see what we got going on down here. Uh, this has obviously been updated, upgraded. It looks like it has the original cast, uh, the original copper, I think. Not a big deal, just something I'm gonna make a note of. Uh, can't tell if those drain lines, they may be cast iron drain lines. Uh, beautiful kitchen though, backsplash. Cabinets, hardwood, rail and style. They are soft clothes. They are dovetails, which I like to see. This is an interesting cabinet. Look how deep that is. That's cool. Popcorn ceiling in uh Many of the areas, you got this good size laundry area. Water heater with expansion tank, so we know it's relatively new. Let's see. Manufacture date of 918 on the interior unit. So that's five years old. That's good. Important notes to realtors. I'll let you read that. Feel free to pause the video so you can read it too. These look like cabinets that have been painted to match the kitchen and they're in, you know, they're tired. Panel is, what kind of panel is this? Give me a second. ITE, electrical products, Siemens. I think it should be fine. Okay, panel should be fine. ITE, another good sized bedroom. This one is right off the walkway from when you're either tip the stairs to get up here or I took the elevator. I'll walk y'all out there in a second and show you. There's the stairs. Here's a guest room. There's an access panel here where they cut in for the tub. You know. Not nearly as fancy. All fixable stuff. Here is that den area where we had that other balcony we saw from the outside. Got some interesting decor. 
This looks like the like the end of a baseball bat. <laughs> this edge banding is rulers. I wonder if she was I wonder if they did like crafting, right? That would make sense. And they just start out with something like, oh, I want, you know, 18 inches. And they could just measure it out. That would actually make a lot of sense. I bet that's what they were, like, crafting or quilting kind of thing. Anyway, it's a space. This one has a roll-down shutter. Look at the front bedroom. Well, first check out this guest, the other bathroom here. Pretty. You know, it's a little drop in, hand painted. Granite matches the kitchen. This window does not have any impact protection. I noticed that from the outside. It's just a, it's just a cheap single pane window with no impact protection. And if you recall, the rule is it's all or nothing. So if you have uh, impact protection on every window except one of them, you do not get the insurance discount. So. Like I can see that one has the impact protection because here's the crank for the roll down. Crank for the roll down. I mean, that could be the only window without it. And if so, that window alone would prevent you from getting that substantial insurance discount. Anyway, uh, third bedroom, we're gonna call it. I'd call it a bedroom. It's got the glass doors, the double doors. So it could be like a den, media room, a bedroom, office, however you wanna use it. It's good flex space. A coat closet. Walk our happy selves right out. Chia. Here's the front, obviously. Stairs, like I said. Elevators right there, including a laundry, I mean a uh, garbage chute. Open parking out there. And then the, uh, the heated, the heated apartment spaces are down in the garage, which I'm gonna go get a couple pictures of. Um, one great thing to note is that Goombay's is right across the street. Go get yourself a Goombay smash and uh, walk home, uh, especially if you have a couple. All right, uh, that's all I got for you now. Um, oh, and then the one, the one biggest issue that I, that I note is that I love everything about the unit except the price. I mean, they're asking kind of a premium but it is, I mean, so here's the thing. They're asking big money for it because it's a huge end unit and it does have some upgrades, right? Um, if this were professionally done, all day long would it be worth this. But I think there's still little things that I would, I'd want to come in. I, I, think, I, I think we would have to do a little bit better for me to feel good. The cheap thin window. Anyway, uh, I'll look at comps. I'll get you real numbers on this stuff. But uh, I mean, the, the fact that it is so big and it's an end unit and it's on the fourth floor with a gorgeous view, I mean, it's going to sell for a premium over some other units. But it's still, it's still, they're still asking top dollar for a unit that does need some upgrades. Still, right? Most people are not going to be satisfied with the popcorn ceilings. You're gonna to wanna to do, like, just address some of the unprofessionalism around here. I don't know if you can see where you can see that. You know. All right, it's probably one of the longer videos I've done. Sorry about that. Now I'm gonna sign off and go check out that garage for you.